Welcome back to the YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to show you how to design a business flyer or let's say for an institution or just travel and tour business or any kind of flyer that you think is in a business sector. Yes, so let's just go into our Photoshop. This is how the Photoshop yes so today i'll just do it fastly so you create a new page uh, then i'll use art illustration and i will use thousand pixels yes and i'll call it business i'll call it business always rename or give it the name so that you can remember what you're doing so this is is it pages so in the first case, I have, I have, uh, I have my, I've already write down the details over here. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five pictures on it. So let me open my information here. Stay at. So I'll copy that one. Then come and paste it in the Photoshop over here okay for me then i'll go over and copy this one too then come and select my text to um paste it then i'll go over and copy it to university then university then i'll click again then i'll paste it yes then i'll come over again and copy chakradi chakradi then paste it over here then i'll come back sorry then i'll come back and copy it date and time and conference then i'll come over here and then paste it like that okay let's make changes over here so i'll have something like this so i'm reduce it eight. 8 is 2, this thing will make it 6. Okay, so let's watch out the layout I'm going to do. Is it that the layout is going? I'm just creating it like this. Okay, let me have something like this. Then I'll reduce it to uh, regular. I'm using poppies. And then this one, I'll make it even bold because I want able to get that then university this september i'll make it regular then i'll paste that one over here okay so this one is okay for me over here then this one too is okay for me but what i need to do to pick my rectangular tool then i'll come and draw something over here then i'll let it come down Okay, then I'll change the color. Let me see which color will I use. Let me use this color, it's okay for me. Then, what I need is that, let me just lock it. Then I'll change the color to white. Okay, you see it just appeared very well. So, I'll save business. Okay. So, the next thing I have to do is to import my pictures. So this one, this is beautiful girl. So I'll just hold shift alternate to transform the picture. So now let me have it like this. And the picture should be here. Okay. So I'll save. The next thing I have to do is to do some kind of I have to put in uh, these four pictures in it. So what should I do? So I'll come and pick ellipse tool. Watch this tutorial very well. This particular thing, a lot of, a whole lot of people are talking about it. That is difficult to do what and what. So just watch it so that you can do it at the end of the day. So I'll just draw something like this. What I'll do is I'll come and click on the field, then I'll close it. 
I don't want it. But I'll come to the stroke, then I'll make it. For now, let me make it black. Then I'll change my distance to 200. Let me see. Okay, 200 is okay, right? It's 200 is okay. Let me make the picture come over here. I want to get some kind of clue. So this one is okay for me. So let me close the lady picture. Then I'll work with this particular picture. So this one, I'll duplicate it because I may make a mistake through that. Then I'll close this one. Then I'll rationalize this one. Yes, you see that. Yes. So the next thing I have to do is to go and pick my polygonal tool over here. Then when you pick the polygonal tool, I just want to cut some parts away. So I'll cut somewhere here. Somewhere here. Then I'll come over here. Then I'll cut. Let me see. I'll cut. Okay, let me cut somewhere here too. So this way. So I'll right click, then cut it. Then I'll close this one. This is how I want it. So there is still more to cut. What I'll do is four pages. So I have to cut this one into four. You get that. So I'll decide and come and cut over here. Cut it. Right click and view layer cut. Then I'll name this one one. Then I'll come and select this one to again. Then I'll cut another one over here. Very simple. Then I'll cut that one too. So I'll name this one two. Okay. So one, two. So when you cut cut, you leave it only this one. So I want to get two particular images there. So then I'll come and cut over there, then over there. Then I'll cut this way, you get that. Then I'll right click and then cut. So right now I now have a whole lot of pictures that I can insert in. So first of all, you only need to click in the picture. So I'll select this one, then I'll go to file, place link, then I'll come and pick which girls you this picture so I will pick one so one let me see this one then I'll right click and create clipping masking so I will transform it this way transform it it's okay for me then I'll select this one again file link then I'll come up pick two then it should be here so and I will right click and create a clipping mask and this is how I'll have that one too. Then I'll come and click over this one. Then I'll come and pick three. Then I'll make it go over there. Then I'll right click. Then create clipping mask in over here. Then I'll come and select this one. Then come and pick this one. Then I'll select four. Yes. I'll select four. This picture is too big, so you see that just covered that particular thing. Yes, so what I need to do is to just transform it. Good, transforming it is okay for me. So, and I have this kind of beautiful thing. So, then uh, let me just make my Disney appear. This one, we get that sample. So, as I didn't say so that you don't get problem at the end of the day. So that is what I have. Then we come and create this one, then create that one. Then create something over here. So now, so this one, I'll group it and I'll call it top. I'll call it top. Then this one, I'll call it information, sorry. I'll group it. I'll group it. And that one is info. Okay. So, actually, I have this. So, there is something beautiful that I've just done. So, this one, 
you can hold, you can select, or you can decide to move it in such a way that this way. Just be the fork, just once, then you hold this one too, and this one, then you make it this way. Just to have some kind of different uh, layout there. Then you, okay, I'm gonna have something over here. Then you select this one, then you select this one, then you make it this way. Okay. You see? So, when you do something like this, you have done almost the design. You get that? So, that is how we design a business flyer. Yes. So, after this, I just use this color and white background. It's beautiful. So, the next thing I have to do is that we normally you can either add background or no background. But let's see something over here. The background of that is not that nice to eat. The background. Let me see the girl's background. Okay. Okay. So that is how we add background. So you can decide to add so many backgrounds to it. But if you don't like, just leave it like this. Simple. And the this thing here, you can add stroke to it. How do you add stroke? You select this one. Then you come to FX and you go to stroke. You see, it has the stroke has come. So make it small and you can make it this color. You see that it's okay. Then you copy it and paste on this one. Copy this one, paste, copy this, copy it, paste. You see, beautiful. That is how the design is going to look like. If you want to still add, you can add a stroke. But if you don't want it that way, just close, close, close. And that's all. So I love it this way. So that is how we designed a distance. So this one is uh, just a flyer, business flyer for people. Uh, they are traveling to people. Study at UK, uh, Iran, and Canada and University. University is September, and this is conference, conference flyer. Let's just take it that way. So thank you very much for watching. This is ABM Graphics. Bye bye.